What's up guys, Austin Newman here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about super smooth slow motion and how you can achieve this effect with any camera. This is my friend Taylor here in this footage and he's going to be helping demonstrate how this effect works. As you can see, this is slowed down to less than 50% and it's pretty smooth footage for that. If we did not use this optical flow effect, we would be looking at this kind of footage, which is very choppy at 50%. Make sure this doesn't end up in your edit unless this is something that you're going for specifically. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that off the timeline as well as this one. We'll go to our original clip and you'll notice immediately that we recorded this in 120 frames a second. Not to worry, you can also apply this effect to 24 frame a second footage. And I'll be showing you that in a little bit. But first, let's start with this footage. I'm gonna right click and modify this to 24 frames a second by interpreting the footage. Let's assume this frame rate is 24 frames a second. So now we have that selected, let's find the part that we want to start the slow motion at. And I'm probably gonna start it as soon as he jumps off the rock. So right about there, and then when he lands. Let me grab that and bring that into my timeline. And this is a different scale than the other one, so let me go ahead and scale this frame to size. Okay, so this is what it looks like after it's modified. It looks good, but I'd like to make it a little bit slower. Let's go ahead and right click on this clip. Let's go to speed and duration. I'm gonna set this to 50% speed. And then, before you click out of this, go to time interpolation, and where it says frame sampling, go ahead and drop this down and use optical flow. This is built into Adobe. It's pretty easy to use. I think it's built in after 2015. So this is what you get afterwards. Now make sure that this is not exactly what it's gonna look like in your preview unless you render this out like I have here. So make sure that you render it or else it's not going to show up. But that's how you apply the effect, it's pretty easy. Now let's go ahead and look at some 24 frame a second footage that I shot. This right here is something that I shot. This is at 24 frames a second, regular speed in a car. It looks pretty good, but I wanna slow it down to 50%. I apply the optical flow, and this is already rendered out, and this is what it looks like. Now I want you to keep in mind a few things, and I'm showing you this footage in particular for this reason. You'll see around the hood here that it doubles up a few pixels, so you make sure to use this sparingly on 24 frame a second footage. You'll also see that some things that go by kind of look like a bad rolling shutter effect. So make sure that you are using this sparingly, and keep this in mind. Now if you had this locked down on sticks with someone maybe doing a backflip or something like that, it'll work a lot better, but just keep it in mind when you are applying this to your clips. And that's how you apply the optical flow effect. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram, at Austin Makes Films. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.